welcome back guys so this is Zakir and in this video tutorial I will explain three types of operands the plus minus and the multiplication so let's first declare our variables our variable type is integer so integer x which is equal to 4 the next variable we have is y which is 6 and we have another variable sum and we have another variable difference and another one product okay so we have to initial whatever variable we use in our program we have to declare it at the beginning of the program which we are doing it now and the type of these all of these variable is integer let's move on so what should the, what is the sum we are declaring the sum that what is the sum okay sum is the sum of x and y variable okay and it ends with a semicolon the difference is the difference of x and y okay and the product is the product of x and y okay so now we declared our variable name the sum difference product now and then we initialize them that what will be the function of these variables so what is the function of this sum variable it will sum the other two variables x and y what is the function of this one it will get the pro it will get the difference of these two variables and the product variable will do the product of these x and y variable let's print these things the print command print f quotation marks it ends with a semicolon it's the key you have to end everything with a semicolon not almost everything okay so the sum is percent d and okay so what do we mean by percent d we have so many variables here x y sum difference product the sum is percent d so we have to write the name of the variable of which we are referring to which is sum in here sum let's copy this thing because i'm too lazy to do it and okay so the in this thing the difference is difference reference we have to give reference here and here is the product product okay which is product okay all right you can do all this operation just in one line but if you don't know how to do that and I'll explain it later that how to do write all these things in one line for now we can work with this thing and finish our program with the return zero value okay hope no errors okay all clear no errors oh it's all messy reason because we don't have any new line space so now you know what's the new line space what's the function of new line space new line character so let's write new line character in here new line flash n slash n okay so it will create a new line as you can see simple nice and beautiful the sum is 10 the difference is minus 2 the product is 24 okay so how we got 10 it just add up these two numbers 4 plus 6 and we got 10 
here we got the difference 4 minus 6 which is minus 2 we got the product 4 cross 6 which is 24 okay how to write all these things in one one line because uh, as a programmer you need to save space you cannot use this maximum space you have to use the minimum space you can so print f and so the sum is person d new line the product is person d new line the difference okay difference is person d new line okay okay now we have to give a reference that what do we, we mean by the first person d the second person d and the third person d because it's a compiler it cannot differentiate what what is going on in your mind so you have to clarify it and you have to write it so the sum is person d by here we mean the sum so let's write the sum separate it with the comma and next is the product so we have to write the product variable not the sum the difference variable it's it's not like that that if you have something in order so you have to write the, the name of that in just in order so let's write the product and the third person d we have is for difference which is difference difference okay let's run it okay you got the same thing but in one simple single line sum is person d 10 24 minus 2 clear okay so what kind of possible error can you make you can either do like this that you can just uh, interchange the variable name like this the product and here you can write uh, maybe you the sum so what exactly am i doing here i'm initializing this person d to this variable and the second person d to the sum variable so i will get a very different result which is the sum is 24 so it's quite weird right so what did i do here i initial i refer, refer to the product variable which i was writing the sum is 24 instead of the sum i wrote the product so make sure that you don't make this kind of mistakes thanks for watching and please do subscribe to our channel